Hey guys, well overall today I had a pretty good day, except for the fact that this afternoon when I went to the doctors to get some spots on my skin where I've been losing my pigmentation checked, I was basically told that I have a skin condition that is pretty much untreatable. I have to go to a dermatologist to get it confirmed, but it looks like I have a skin condition, basically the pigmentation in my skin and spots will disappear and I will end up with spots all over my body, every, like, well not all over my body, but I will end up with spots where there is no pigmentation and that's kind of annoying because it could affect the way I look. Um, but when I stopped and I thought, I realised there's people, when given news like that, that take it negative and break down in tears, etc, etc, because of that, where there's others, uh, others of us that take that in our stride and process it differently in order to be able to continue to function. I mean... This skin condition, it could deteriorate, it could get worse rapidly and I could actually, could actually spread all over my body or it could just stay where it is and it will just stay how it is for the rest of my life. But, it's kind of annoying in the fact that it's something that I have to carry with me. Um, I mean, it's something that I can't, I have no control over, which basically, which I guess this is one reason why I don't get upset over it. I can't control it. It's out of my control. Um, it's just something that's happened and I've got to deal with it. Um, and it turns out, after all of that, that my sister has exactly, well, likely has the same thing. And upon further digging, this particular condition is genetic. Now I've got to work out exactly which side it's come from and obviously both my parents are carriers but overall it means that I'm going to have to go and get regular checkups. It means the melanin in, my, in areas of my skin is or the, yeah, the melanin in areas of my skin just isn't there which is kind of annoying and it also means I have to be a lot more vigilant about being out in the sun because it increases my ri my risk of getting more and also having skin cancers in those areas. Yeah, so I guess after all of that today, when you stop and you think you process it, you realise that you're really not so bad off and you're very lucky overall you've only got that and you don't have something else that is 100% life-threatening. Anyway, guys, that was a bit of a serious one, but I wanted to say it, um, to say it for something. And I hope you guys have all had a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I've got a pretty good one planned. And like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll see some more. Thanks, guys.